What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marina. One of the things that we as divers want to really focus on and really master, and that's the art of being properly weighted and properly trimmed out in the water column. Regardless of what we do underwater, if we're swimming along, just enjoying our dive, maybe if we're trying to take pictures of fish or if we're spear fishing, maybe if we're doing some exploration, maybe in a cave or a cavern, or maybe inside of a wreck, we always want to make sure that we have that proper trim and that we're properly weighted to be new neutrally buoyant regardless of how much air is in our tank and regardless of what system that we're wearing. So if I'm in a back mounted double situation or maybe I'm in a back mount single situation, maybe I'm in a side mount situation, maybe I've got that back plate and wing or maybe I've got that jacket style BCD, none of that really matters when you're properly weighted. Now to be properly weighted, there's several things that we can do. Of course we can calculate how much weight we need, but we need to get into water and practice trimming out ourselves in the water and we always want to try to have that balanced rig so no matter if you're out of air and you're there's no air in your BC if you're properly weighted with a balanced rig you should always be able to swim up regardless of the depth you're at so the video that you're gonna to fix to watch was me from tonight in the pool with some of my students and I'm showing them how to properly trim and properly weight themselves, but yet not use that inflator necessarily to get neutrally buoyant simply based off my breathing alone and a special little kick pattern that I call the vortex kick I'm able to go from negatively buoyant on the bottom to positively buoyant at the surface but yet control my breathing the whole time so that I do not exceed a safe ascent rate of a foot every two seconds so watch real closely in this video you're gonna see me start out neutrally buoyant I'm going to let all the air out of my BC. I'm going to descend down to where I'm going to be flat on the bottom. I'm going to extend my arms out as if I was diving in that horizontal trimmed out position. And then based off my breathing alone and based off that special kick that I do called a vortex or a tornado kick, I'm going to slowly lift my body up controlling my breathing, allowing it to make me slightly positively buoyant. And then when I exhale, I'm going to be trimmed out neutrally buoyant. The vortex kick will allow me to send up just a few feet higher, still controlling my breathing. As I ascend up, my suit will begin to expand. My gear, even though I've dumped all the air, there's still trapped air in your system. So as I ascend, that air starts to expand. I can let a little bit of air out as I exhale, control it, remain trimmed, remain properly weighted and properly neutrally buoyant and work my way all the way to the surface. So as you watch this video, watch this technique and I'll give you some final thoughts.
So guys, as you can see, simply using this different kicking pattern or this spinning technique, I'm able to raise my body and lower my body at will and using basic inhales and exhales, no funky breathing techniques, nothing like that. I can very easily rise my body up in the water column, not to exceed that one foot every two seconds and slowly descend back down. Now, once again, being properly weighted and trimmed out, makes all the difference in the world. Guys, I really appreciate you watching this video. I hope it helps you understand why it's so important to be properly weighted and trimmed when you're in the water column. If you like this video, smash that like button for me. If you got any questions, comments, or concerns, simply put it down in the comment section below. Guys, as always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube, and as always, guys, we appreciate your business.